Today, we're exploring the world of clear vision with intraocular lenses after cataract surgery. Let's make this confusing path as clear as possible. We are going to give you easy guidelines as to how you can make the best decision for your eyes. So what are you waiting for? Let's jump in. I'm Doc Hash, your friendly neighborhood ophthalmologist. So let's quickly review the types of lenses available so we all have an understanding of what's available on the market. Most companies make variants of these technologies, so we're just talking about the broad categories here. Later, we'll go over the most practical approach to make the best decision for your eyes. First up, monofocal lenses, the time-tested solution. These are the straightforward choice and the default choice for most that aren't going for out-of-pocket surgery. It gives you clear vision at one specific distance given that you don't have any astigmatism. Usually, we correct both of your eyes for distance and you need glasses for nearby. This is the hassle-free and safe choice. Here, we can introduce a nuance where we correct one eye for distance and the other for near. This is called monovision surgery, but that's something we need to test beforehand as not everyone is comfortable with this procedure. If so far you've enjoyed this video, consider giving us a like and subscribe. Then we have the toric lens. These are the go-to for astigmatism correction, tailored to fit your eye's unique shape. Toric lenses come in all of the variants that we're going to discuss, and anyone who has astigmatism requires this for a spectacle-free life. They're like the one chef who nails your favorite dish every time. Then let's become a bit modern. Trifocal lenses, anyone? These are the multitaskers, offering clear vision at near, intermediate, and far. They're like having a Swiss army knife for your eyes, but sorry, no x-ray vision included. Here, we need to talk about some points of discussion. There are certain limitations to these lenses. Remember, three things right off the bat. One, near vision works in good lighting conditions. What does that mean? When you go to a candlelight dinner, for example, they will fail and you will need a torch to see the menu. Number two, you will see halos around lights at night. Most people get used to them, but it's something you need to consider. And number three, it will give you good near vision, but don't expect to see as clear as when you were 20 years of age. And they will give you clear vision at specific distances only. And finally, the extended depth of focus lenses. They're the all-rounders providing a broad range of focus. Perfect for those who want a bit of everything, but they might not ace the fine details. They extend your focus, but they have a limited range, so they help nearby giving you functional near vision, but you may still require near glasses for reading and fine detailed tasks. So now, let's dive into the practical guide into choosing these lenses. Let's answer a series of questions to narrow down the lens choices. Number one, do you want complete spectacle independence? Ask yourself, are you comfortable with near glasses, far glasses, or maybe both? Not everyone hates glasses and you may be one of them. If you are okay, then you have a clear choice, the time-tested monofocal lens. But what if you want just near glasses? Then ask yourself, do you have astigmatism? The second number on your prescription. If yes, you may want to switch to a monofocal toric lens that corrects your astigmatism for far, but you will need glasses for near. You can also opt for the opposite approach. Additionally, you can try the monovision surgery we mentioned earlier, but remember, you must try that prior as not everyone tolerates this. You may be wondering, but I want complete spectacle independence. While that is possible, there are a couple of questions you need to ask yourself. One, is my eye in absolute pristine shape? That means no corneal scars or problems, no retinal problems like AMD or glaucoma. These lenses can become a nightmare for these types of people. The second major question, can I tolerate some halos at night? These, for most people, is not a big deal, but if your job involves primarily driving at night, you may want to opt out. If you're in such a profession and you absolutely must get premium lenses, go for the extended depth of focus lenses. Lastly, ask yourself, are you bothered by small details or are you a perfectionist? If you are, steer clear of these premium lenses. Monofocal or toric is your answer as these lenses will not give you the fine details. And that wraps up our quick guide on cataract surgery lenses. 
If you found this insightful, hit like, subscribe, and ring that bell for more. Remember, clear vision is just a surgery away. Stay tuned and take care.